Let's ask Daniel's opinion on this, the slow Kratom, or the red Kratom. The relaxing, sedative Kratom. I don't really like it that much. I mean, it's okay. I understand why someone would use it to kill pain or for sleep, but I prefer the Kratom for giving me energy. I prefer the uplifting Kratom, the Kratom that makes me feel like it's Christmas Eve, gets me excited and pumped up and energized. And I know I can take the slower Kratom, like the red Kratom, uh, and, I, and I can drink coffee with it to be synergistic and give me more energy, but I still prefer the white Kratoms or the fast Kratoms. Now, Daniel, you're telling me I can cycle between different strains of Kratom every day. I'd prefer to cycle between white strains of Kratom every day to be up every day to get every morning, especially because after the excitement and energy and uplifting part of it wears off, uh, then I'm more relaxed anyways. Like the come down for me on Kratom is that I feel more relaxed. So it's perfect. I take the Kratom in the morning uplifting and by evening it makes me feel relaxed and I come down to like a baseline or even a little bit more relaxed. So see, I prefer white Kratom as it is now. This may change in the future, but for all purposes I prefer white Kratom. But how do I cycle between the different strains of white kratom. There's only so many strains of white kratom. Do I have to, if I want to live the kratom lifestyle and be on it every day, switch between, do I have to add in red strains of kratom and green strains of kratom and gold strains? Or do you think it's possible for me to just stick with white strains and cycle between white strains every day? Hi, Tony. That was a great question about how you have a preference for white strain quicker kratom. And if you can incorporate that into a rotation or cycling method that features uh, your preference of Kratom. I'm actually the same as you. I prefer the quicker strains. I prefer the white strains and the green strains over the red strains. So you mentioned that you really like the white strains. I do too. But there's also some really uh, great green strains, man. And so you got to find some of these green strains that you like because some of them are very quick. And they have uh, those fast effects that are similar, uplifting, uh, energizing as the white vein kratom. So it may take some uh, experimenting with you, finding some green vein kratom strains that you really like in order to complement the white strain ones that you found. But that's part of the fun of kratom is that you get to enjoy finding the different ones, uh, the different strains of the plant that you have a good reaction to. Okay. And then as far as the red strains, I am not too much of a fan of those either. But here I'll tell you one thing. Kratom, as you increase the dosage, becomes more sedative. So if you're finding that they are too sedative, those red strains, what you could do is you could just take very small dosages. Try dividing your dosage in half that you take of the red strains and see if that creates a more uplifting, energizing effect like the one that you're looking for, or at least a more calming effect or a peaceful effect without sapping your energy, which it sounds like you may have experienced.